Hi everyone, welcome to Irrational Maths Academy. In this video, we'll solve five questions. Let's start. Find the centroid of a triangle whose vertices are 2 comma 3, minus 4 comma 7 and 2 comma minus 4. So let us take this point as A, 2 comma 3 and B, minus 4 comma 7 and C, 2 comma minus 4, 2 comma minus 4 and we need to remember the centroid formula. Centroid form, centroid is denoted by G. What is the formula for centroid? x1 plus x2 plus x3 by 3, y1 plus y2 plus y3 by 3. Now what we will do is we will substitute in the formula. Let us take this as x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3. Is it clear? What is x1? 2 plus x2 minus 4, x3 it is 2 by what is y1? 3, y2? 7, y3? minus 4 by 3. So 2 plus into minus minus plus 2 by 3, 3 plus 7 plus into minus minus 4 by 3 2 minus 4 is minus 2 minus 2 plus 2 is 0 3 plus 7 is 10 10 minus 4 is 6 so finally 0 by 3 is 0 6 by 3 3 ones are 3 twos are. So this is the centroid of the given vertices. Express tan theta in terms of sin theta. One thing is we can write tan theta equal to 1 by cot theta and again tan theta equal to sin theta by cos theta. So in this question, they asked us to write tan theta in terms of sin theta. So this is not required. This is not required and this is what required. Tan theta equal to sin theta by cos theta. Now if you look at here, it is sin theta, it is okay. But in the denominator, we have cos theta. What we need to do is we need to convert that cos theta also in terms of sin theta. And for that, we need to see the relationship where we can find the sin and cos. That is sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1. Cos square theta equal to 1 minus sin square theta. What? See, I need what? Cos theta. So, cos theta equal to under root of 1 minus sin square theta. We got this one right. Cos theta equal to under root of 1 minus sin square theta. We will substitute here. Sin theta on under root of 1 minus sin square theta. So if you look at here tan theta. This whole tan theta is in terms of sin theta and sin theta only right. This is what required tan theta equal to sin theta upon under root of 1 minus sin square theta. If the same question is in terms of cos theta, okay, if they ask us to write down express tan theta in terms of cos theta, here what we will do is, here we will change the sin theta. Same relationship, what we will get is sin theta equal to under root of 1 minus cos square theta. We get. If you substitute here, we get in terms of cos theta. Is it clear? Next. Which term of an AP? is minus 81. Also find the term which becomes 0. 
So let us write down this AP 21, 18, 15, so on, minus 81. First term, what is our first term? Is 21. Common difference. Either you can take from 18 minus 21 or 15 minus 18. So let me take 18 minus 21 will give me common difference minus 3. Is it clear? Now, which term of an AP is minus 81? Which term of an AP is minus 81? For that, we need to remember this formula. I say keep on repeating this one. A n equal to A plus n minus 1 into t. Here what else is given? A n is also given. A n equal to minus 81 is given. So A n is given, A is given, D is given. What we are supposed to find out? N we are supposed to find out. So let me substitute here minus 81 equal to 21 plus n minus 1 into t is what? minus 3 minus 81 equal to 21 let me multiply this part plus into minus minus will get here okay or directly we will multiply this one part minus 3n minus into minus plus 3. So minus 81 equal to minus 3n plus 21 plus 3, 24. If I take this 24 to this side, what happens? Minus 81 minus 24 equal to minus 3n. Minus 81 minus 24 is minus 105 equal to minus 3n and I need what n minus 3n equal to minus 105 n equal to minus 105 upon minus 3 minus minus gets answer ok 3 3 3 is a 9 1 left 3 5 is a 15 so, n value is 35. This is the first part of question. Which term of an AP is minus 81? That is 35. This is first part. Now, we need to solve second part also. What is the second part? Which term of an AP? Okay. Find the term which becomes 0. Find the term that is a n value is 0. We need to find n value for which it becomes a we know that is 21 and d we know that is minus 3. We will substitute in this a n equal to a plus n minus 1 t formula 0 equal to 21 plus n minus 1 into so 0 equal to 21 minus 3 n plus 3 0 24 minus 3n. If I take this minus 3n to this side, what happens? Plus 3n equal to 24. n equal to 24 upon 3. 3 ones are 3 eights are. So n equal to 8. For n equal to 8, this term becomes 0. The nth term value is 0. A strip of width 4 cm is attached. So, let us take this as strip which is 4 cm. A strip of width 4 cm is attached to one side of a square. This is square. Okay. To form a rectangle. After attaching this strip, okay, before it is a square, A, B, C, D. This was actually a square. After attaching a 4 cm width of strip, this becomes what rectangle. Now they gave the area of rectangle that is 77 cm square. 
what we are supposed to find out we need to find out the length of the side of the square so let us take x this is also x this is also x and this is also x why all these are x because it is a square we know in square all the lengths are equal now what is the area formula area is length into breadth what is the length of this rectangle length equal to x plus 4 what is the breadth it is x so x plus 4 into breadth is what x length into breadth is what area that is 77 cm now let me simplify this one x into x x square plus 4x equal to 77 or x square plus 4x minus 77 equal to 0 if you look at here it is nothing but quadratic equation So, if you solve the quadratic equation, we'll get two values, and out of two values, which is positive value, would be our answer. So, x square minus seventy-seven x I'll get a minus seventy-seven x square I'll get a. If I multiply, I should get minus seventy-seven x, and if I add, I should get a plus four. So, what I'll do is seven x eleven x. If product is negative, means one of them is negative. But if you see here, overall you will get plus sign. That is, this is plus and this is minus. So minus seven x plus eleven x minus seventy seven equal to zero. If I take x common, x minus seven plus eleven equal to x minus. Sorry here. Seven equal to zero. X minus seven. I can take common. X minus seven. X plus eleven equal to zero. X minus seven equal to zero. X plus eleven equal to zero. So x equal to seven and x equal to minus eleven. If you look at here, length cannot be length cannot be negative. So length of the square is what? Length of the square. Seven centimeters. Or if they ask you length of the rectangle, then seven plus four eleven. Is it clear? Breadth also seven. Next, the sides of a triangle measures two root two, four, and two root six units. Is it a right angle triangle? Just we know this. If if this is my right angle triangle, this is my theta. If this is my base, if this is my perpendicular length, and if it is hypotenuse. From the Pythagoras theorem, if we can say if hypotenuse square equal to sum of the squares of other two sides, that is h square equal to p square plus b square. If this condition satisfies, we can say it is a right angle triangle. If it if does not satisfy, means it is not a right angle triangle. So now what we'll do is first we'll square it. Let me take a as two root two, b as four. And C S two root six. These are the sides of a uh, right angle triangle. Let us assume. Let me square it. So what I'll get here is two root two whole square. That is two square root two whole square. So two square root two whole square. Two square is four. Root two whole square is two. So what I'll get here eight. Next, b square, four square, sixteen. C square, two root six whole square. So two square, root six whole square. That is 
2 square is 4, root 6 whole square is 6, 6 whole is 24. If you see here, b square, okay, b square plus a square equal to c square or c square equal to b square plus a square. Is it here? So, C is nothing but hypotenuse and A and B are nothing but the other two sides. Therefore, the given sides are sides of a right angle triangle. Clear? Thank you and all the best.